you know, adverse reactions to them, um, headache, fatigue, um, the chronic pain that I felt. Magda says she's heard it all before, the doubts, questioning whether they're really sick. Well, there's definitely something there. Uh, I mean, one of the ways that you can determine whether or not you're sensitive to the light bulbs is if you have them in your home, simply turn them off for a few days and find out if any of your symptoms disappear, the symptoms that you're concerned about. Okay, let's review. UV, headaches, skin problems, and of course, mercury. So the old light bulbs are being banned in 2012. Manufacturers are scrambling to create new ones. The best choice for the future may be these, LEDs, light-emitting diodes. And it's reading 27. It doesn't contribute to dirty Ladies and gentlemen, we're live. We're about to go to break here in a moment. Uh, Joe Rogan, my good buddy, visiting here in Austin, is busy beating up the microphone right now. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff in the next hour and ten minutes. Joe, good to have you here. Good to be here. Thanks, buddy. What's going on? Oh, I like much. how we just shook hands, even though we've already shook hands and hugged. And we've been, we've got to shake hands for you guys. Exactly. Very important. Are you saying it's bad we did that? No, I'm not saying it's bad. Joe's always, keep it real, Joe. Keep it keep real, real. real. It's Jones. I'm about Fight to the power. One day closer to victory. You know, Joe just can't believe I've actually really liked this. This is what I'm really like. Oh, I know. I believe you like this. I've known you for a long time now, man. You know, I was thinking, yeah. we met in 99, so, yeah. so this is actually 10 years. You remember when, when, when I did my uh, DVD that I filmed in Austin, The Belly of the Beast? Yes. You and I wore George W. Bush masks and Herbert Walker Bush masks. We did a little we went... satanic dance to show that we were satanic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went running around the uh, the uh, the grounds of uh, the state capitol building. And people yeah. thought we were nuts because we were. You know what was funny? <laughs> That was put out on a DVD. I did it, and people found it and said, we found secret video of Alex and Joe, I'm not kidding, of Alex and Joe Rogan doing a satanic ceremony. And we're like, this is a spoof on them, on the Bushes. This is a public DVD sold in stores. But that's how the, the, the fake conspiracy theorists that discredit me, that's how they operate. How many fake conspiracy theorists do you believe are actually employed by the government to make conspiracy theorists look ridiculous? Like when you read about like a guy like William Cooper, like some of the stuff that he said like about like he thought that Kennedy's driver shot Kennedy when it wasn't true. Yeah. It was ridiculous, but it's like so crazy that everything else he says you got to go what? Well, I don't think he was an operative, but what I think is, I mean, Maybe he's, he's I mean, just I, crazy. I mean, he's better compared to some. I mean, I have documents. I go off ninety nine percent of the time. I'm not even speculating. I'm going to make an Alex Jones T shirt, and, it, and it's going to say underneath it, "I have documents." <laughs> Whenever there's anything crazy, I have documents, ladies and gentlemen. I can show you right now. now but let me ask you a question, though. Okay. There are a few hundred cases going back into the 60s, especially with COINTELPRO, where they would have activists act crazy, say crazy things. Of course, right? I mean, it's, it's an effective way to do it. I mean, if you look at, like, the way arguments progress on message boards, as soon as someone believes anything wacky... Well, now the, CENTCOM, now the military admits that they are on the web. Yeah, out. I read that. I now, read that recently. You it's have the documents. I have the documents. <laughs> well, you do, see? But it's fascinating how they have, like, directions on how to troll. How to troll people, how to bait them in arguments, how to respond when you're being, you know, Yeah, that's all come out. That's all come out. It's fascinating. So, so, so we know that there hundreds have been caught. We know CENTCOM's hired tens of thousands, and they even have private PR firms that do it. And so, yes, it is there. But, but more often than not, I'm sad to say, the crazies, it's just schizophrenics and people, too. I mean, there are yeah. outright nuts. Stay there. Joe Rogan in studio, ladies and gentlemen, the InfoWork Phase continues. one of the insider's plan for a one-world government has been initiated with the recent bailout. International bankers and power brokers have engineered the current crisis to create a new currency and a new world bank to act as savior. But we've only seen the beginning. Their next engineered crisis will be on a scale never before seen in modern times. Shortages and empty shelves will spread fear and panic across the land. The insiders have discovered that they must control two things to seize total power. Phase one is a one world currency, which we are currently being prepared to accept. Phase two of their insidious plan is complete control of our food supplies. Go to www.foodshortageusa.com for the details. That's www.foodshortageusa.com to learn how to prepare for the unthinkable. Don't wait for empty shelves. Learn how to make your own survival foods for pennies on the dollar. Go to foodshortageusa.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. May I have everybody's attention, please? I've come with a message of information. 9-11 was an inside job. Do you like being a puppet, sir? Do you like being a puppet for the New World Order? How do the American people know that 9-11 was a stage, was engineered by you, David Rockefeller, the Trilateral Commission, the CFR? Please sit down and shut up. The day that we stop asking questions is the day that we have allowed the seeds of despotism to grow. 
door with our own door. Seven years after the attacks of September 11th, a global awakening has taken place. An inside job? How dare you? If you know that there's treason going on, you can be held accountable for treason yourself. All hell is breaking loose on 6th Avenue. And if the government has not told the truth in five years, we will be here on the 10th anniversary of my... Truth Rising. Download the film at prisonplanet.tv right now or get the DVD at infowars.com. It's now time to take the revolution to the next level. You worry. You see the signs and worry about the future. You worry about economic turmoil and food shortages. How to be prepared while preserving your sanity? Your answer may be at hand. Author Linda Runyon lived off the land, isolated from civilization. She knows that as long as the sun shines, there will be plenty of free food all over God's green earth. Perhaps the only sane insurance is knowledge of wild edible plants. The cost of learning is minimal. Wild food grows everywhere and you will see it everywhere. It's every bit organic and more nutritious than our modern diets. Well respected in her field, Linda's approach to teaching this subject includes books, flashcards, and video with an emphasis on health, safety, practicality, and joy. Learn how to identify it, where and when to find it, how to prepare, use, and store it. Go to Linda's website, ofthefield.com, and take advantage of special offers. Or if you're not online, call her 24-hour toll-free order line at 888-51-EAT-FREE. That number again, 888-51-EAT-FREE. A little knowledge makes starvation impossible. All right, this hour and five minutes we've got left with Joe is just going to go by so quickly. So let's go ahead and get into it. During the breaks, we're having even more interesting discussions than we're having on air. You were asking me, what's this uh, Ron Paul clip I've got on the screen over here? And I was saying I played it earlier where suddenly Glenn Beck comes out and goes, the world government's real, the international bankers are dangerous, they're more dangerous than standing armies. You know, Thomas Jefferson quotes, what do we do? They're bankrupting us by design. But now he's doing it on Fox News, so that's going to discredit that message. Uh, but you were bringing up Ron Paul and his ideas. Is that why do you think that it discredits that message? I mean, I mean, if he's saying it on Fox News, maybe they're saying it because they really they're really worried about it now. Maybe it's gotten to the point where even the people that were, you know, supposedly supporting a corrupt administration are now scared that it's far more corrupt than they had ever believed. Well, let's hope so. Let, well, that's I mean, what I when I see a guy like Glenn Beck, I think here's a guy who wants attention. He wants to be a smart guy. He wants to be sensible. He wants to prove a point. But I feel like a lot of it's like an act. I feel like he's this American apple pie guy. And now I heard that he's doing some sort of a performance where he's like he has a live show. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, he's like an entertainer. Well, a year ago he said the, the Army needs to watch and look at and be used but, against Ron Paul But you Ron see what I'm saying supporters. about his opinions? I mean, if he wants to do a live show, he's an entertainer. You know, I mean, that's really, I mean, no, no news person does a live show. They don't even think about that. So what what validates his opinions? You know, maybe he is a guy that was on the side of it because he thought that it was the right thing to do. Or, or maybe he's mixing in real issues, but then sandwiching it with more government propaganda, which he's doing. That could be. I mean, it could be that he's, you know, this is the new stance, that this is the new stance at Fox News, is they always need an army or they always need an enemy. And so now if the enemy isn't the liberals, maybe if the liberals are in charge, and they've decided to work with them. Now, you know, the idea is that we're supposed to be afraid of the international banks. But it is you know? the international banks that orchestrated the collapse. I have the documents, as they say. Right. And, you, and, 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 do you believe that it was orchestrated, or do you believe that it was orchestrated and fell apart because of just human nature and greed and the, the fact that these people were willing well, to take these crazy loans that they couldn't pay off mm. and houses that they couldn't afford and that bankers knew that these houses were just never going to just continue to appreciate? They were c completely overinflated. You think it's a little bit of both, maybe? It is a little bit of both because in the lending uh, changes they made in the mid and late 90s that allowed sub brokerage and banks to run scams and that did happen but the large central banks uh we have their own policy papers and when i went and infiltrated bilderberg three years ago and it's in my film endgame out for a year and a half i said they're going to pop the subprime mortgage create an international banking crisis and then propose a world bank that you'll pay carbon taxes to and that was now in newsweek two weeks ago if that happens what happens to all the money in america what's the thought behind that like everybody who has a million dollars all of a sudden has a zero and we all start at scratch and then well we well the well well, well the elite have again. transferred the assets while they still have value into tangible hard resources like and infrastructure and yep. oil and stuff like that now so is that the thought behind it, that they're just going to cancel out all the money, that they're going to completely implode the dollar? What they're going to do is have a world banking system that's already there but go public that will set the currency values and that will control the major Western governments. So you'll already have a world currency 
but you'll still have your local unit. Kind of like Sports Illustrated.